Secretary of State Mike Pompeo defended the Trump administration's decision on Monday to reject a legal opinion saying that Jewish settlements violated international law. Pompeo sent a letter to U.S. Democratic Representative Andy Levin from Michigan. The sharply worded letter was sent in response to one by Levin and co-signed by 106 other House Democrats, including Representatives Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, and Maxine Waters. Pompeo wrote, while I appreciate your interest in this important issue, I couldn't disagree more with your foolish positions. J Street considered adopting an agenda to pressure Israel by linking U.S. military aid to Israeli actions in Judea and Samaria, The Intercept reports. According to the website, a letter signed by 35 people who served on the J Street U board from 2013 to 2019 proposed that J Street develop a strategy in which every shekel the Israeli government spends on settlements and home demolitions results in a proportional reduction of American military aid. The idea was shot down by J Street's Israel director, who said J Street would lose all credibility with the Israeli public if it pursued such a policy. Close to 40 world leaders have confirmed that they will attend the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz concentration camp at Yad Vashem's Holocaust Memorial Museum in Israel. Israel's foreign ministry hopes the event will raise attention to the rising problem of anti-Semitism. The Israeli branch of Ben & Jerry's requested ingredient suggestions for a new ice cream to mark an unprecedented third election. Ben and Jerry said in an Instagram post, We thought that in honor of the elections, we would create a new flavor called Third Time Ice Cream, but we can't decide what to put in it. Any ideas? One suggestion, lots of nuts. <laughs>